Hey guys, here we are again talking about Vincero watches. I like them so much, I'm wearing them four at a time. I know you're not made of money, I'm not made of money, and sometimes I just want a watch that keeps good time with a Citizen Miota Quartz movement. It's durable, so you could smash it into stuff with a sapphire crystal and a stainless steel case. And these Vincero watches are good value for money. They offer a mature look, stylish designs at the right price. You can mix and match dials and uh, colors. It's all out there. And I got the best price on the internet for you on these Vincero watches. Hit the link in the description after you enjoy this video. You probably shouldn't wear four at a time, though. It does look silly. I feel silly. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Eagles Canyon Raceway outside of uh, Dallas, Texas. We're down here today uh, thanks to a group of very nice uh, individuals, pretty much led by this guy. This is Aaron, and uh, he's out here with his buddies and just brought the weirdest cars ever. It's the best. <laughs> it's the best. So, Aaron, this is your 1990 Lotus Esprit SE. Correct. Tell me uh, everything about this car. <laughs> uh, these are probably the best entry into an exotic car because they're really not expensive to buy right now. You can get one like this for about 25 to 30 grand, um, and they're great. People, 80s awesomeness. They're 80s awesomeness. They're they're quirky. They're uh, more reliable than the than the internet will tell you. Uh, the nice thing about the '89 to maybe '95 is this is the turbo four cylinder car. That motor was developed by Lotus in the early '70s, so they really worked out all the kinks in the motor by then. What's the displacement of this motor? This is a 2.2 liter. Okay, 2.2 turbo, and then you've modified this car. We further. have. Yeah. We've, so what's been done to it since? We've added a Garrett GT 3071R ball bearing turbo. We tripled the size of the intercooler. Uh, we open up the exhaust. It's a three-inch downpipe that goes wow. to a, a cutout, which is open right now. Um, <laughs> and we, we built a custom chip that runs uh, larger injectors okay. and, and such like that. And this car still runs on, on 93 pump gas here in Texas. So what did this car start with power-wise, and what does it make now? Originally at the wheels, these cars make 239 wheel horsepower. That's actually a lot more than I would have thought. It's not bad. Yeah, I mean, it's not bad. Was that kind of underrated from the factory? A little bit underrated. Okay, so what does it make now? Now this one makes 384 at the wheels. That's wheels yeah. that's a four-cylinder car yes now the weak point of these esprits all of them and I include my DeLorean because the DeLorean is a spree based is the gearbox the Renault transaxle is known for being a piece of crap and you have the same gearbox that I had in my DeLorean that's exactly right so do I have to be kind of gentle with it um no no drag launch starts yeah, basically no launches, yeah. but other than that you can go yeah uh, unfortunately we may run into a little bit of clutch trouble because oh. I'm a little bit scared to upgrade the clutch because that's going to transfer problems that'll just to the blow, gearbox yeah you need to you need to pick what is your cheapest weak point <laughs> right right okay well thanks Aaron I kick you out and I drive now and as I kick you out I note to myself that this center tunnel is identical from my DeLorean which is very <laughs> funny all right Colin Chapman was probably going to go to was he, he died instead. Huh. All right. Good to know. That's a good tip. Colin Chapman would have probably gone to prison if he didn't die first. Uh, is it liable if he's on, if he's been dead? Who knows? I'm excited. Uh, I had to take my shoes off to drive this car. It's really small. If he, Aaron's 5'9 and fits in this thing really good. I'm 6'3 and I can drive it, but only without shoes and... Although I can drive it for this review, it seems a little tight if I was going to own one. So, there's definitely no power steering. Okay. It makes the right noises. Alright, let's do a little scouting lap and see... Uh Thing or others, they are uh, 
want to use at a racetrack. So, well, that sounds good. That's definitely different. Okay, now the brakes decided to get a little grabbier. I've got a little heat in them. This is so weird. I'm, I'm driving four cars today, or five cars today, all of which have completely different gear patterns, all of which have completely different engine configurations. Wow, that's pretty fast. That was faster than I expected it to be. I'm still trying to get a feel for it. It's actually rather nice to heel toe. Strangely, the last Esprit I drove had a, an unusually heavy gas pedal. Oh, ass end getting a little light over that crest.
they went from a a regular uh, oh, I hit those by accident they went from a regular uh, four cylinder to a turbo four and then the twin turbo eight and and uh, it's just a really neat car and, uh, and a Lotus it's always a treat to drive in a spree especially one that's been uh, modified in such a cool way uh, so thank you to Aaron Thank you to you guys for watching. Thank you to Eagles Canyon Raceway for having me out today. And I'll see you tomorrow. Something else cool.